Good morning, Magicals! And finally, it's Friday! I can finally say that. No, it's not Friday, it's Thursday. Oh dear God, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I can't do it this week. I can't. It's too much. Honest to God, I'm surprised we don't have tequila drinking, pole dancing, meteor showers thrown in for good luck. Because this week has been a cosmic shit show of epic proportions. I was so excited, I suddenly thought it was Friday. What's up with that shit? Okay, guys, so today's reading, nice one. We haven't had this chakra before. Um, base chakra. Wrong side. Here we go. Sorry, hold on. Um, base chakra, guys. Here we go. Maladara. Okay. Um, this is um, meaning root um, grounding. It's our first chakra. It's our physical realm. It is... The kryptonite on this one is fear, guys. It is a big one. It doesn't matter where the fear is activated. So whether it's a fear in relationships, which would activate your heart chakra, whether it's a fear of being lied to, which is going to activate your throat chakra, the minute that comes up and there's any amount of fear, it it, it depletes your, your base chakra. Okay, so just so you are aware, it doesn't matter where the fear resides. Okay, it, it depletes it. Um, this rules our physical realm, um, and it's just such an important chakra for us to have. This chakra requires us to be grounded, okay? Because once we're grounded, we can focus on all the other things. We can be present. This chakra calls for us being present in the moment as well, all right? So um, first chakra, Maladhara, okay, is the, um, is the Sanskrit name for it, right? Okay, so... This is very much about a financial reading, so this is going to appeal to some people and not all. But the card we drew, I drew um, the Six of Earth here, okay? Now, the Six of Earth uh, traditionally is, um, okay, just so we all clear, this is the good tarot by Colette Baron reed She only, she dictates that it read, it's read in the upright, and her messages are very, um, they're beautiful, they're really beautiful. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to use the traditional one, but I just, I love her cards and I love the artwork. Okay, so this would be the Six of Pentacles or the Six of Coins, okay, so obviously about money and financial stuff, which is all what happens in our um, our base chakra, it's about survival, okay, it's our animal instinct chakra, okay, so that fight or flight kind of mode, okay. Now, what this is about is reciprocity, so what I'm being told is um, either someone's feeling fearful that they're not going to get back what they've been putting in to something, okay, because this is a reciprocity card, um, or someone is just fearful about so um, financial situations, which completely understandable at this point in time. Um, everybody has taken a knock with COVID. Well, there are very few who haven't taken a knock with COVID, some more than others, etc. But it's very much about understanding that you have the resources to do what you need to do as well, okay? Um, and obviously, I also read intuitively, so Kelso is very much saying to me, this is about having some faith in yourself as well, to understand that you've got what it takes to do what you need to survive, all right? And the much as much as you give, you will receive, okay? Um, now, we always talk about balance and stuff like that. This is very much about knowing where to give, though. Okay, so if, for example, you have, I'm not saying just walk out of a job, please don't ever, 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 ever think that I would give any kind of advice like that, because I would never. But let's just say, for example, you're in a job where you are constantly um, made to work really long hours, you're not paid enough, um, and you have other options that would be better for you, then make the move, because then you're putting into something that you're not getting the same amount of energy back from. Okay, so this card tells me that there's an imbalance in finances, all right? Um, look, it, it technically, um, it's if it was reversed, I'd say definitely, but the feel I'm getting from this, because the card doesn't come reversed, um, is that there feels like there's a bit of a fear around an imbalance in, in, um, in finances, but also what I'm hearing very loud and clear, this is gifts from the universe, guys. So the, the, this is something um, for some of you that there will be unexpected windfall coming in. Um, it could be something like inheritances and things like that. But this is a good card. It really is a good card. So just take a breath. Whatever you are um, putting out, you will receive back in, okay, if you are putting out smartly. So I asked um, for some guidance, obviously. That was what we needed to focus on release. Now, our advice is here, okay. 
full moon in Gemini, the answers you need are coming. So basically the universe is just saying, just take a deep breath. It may feel a bit chaotic now, because let me tell you, this week has been incredibly stressful and incredibly chaotic energetically. Um, let this full moon and the lunar energy pass, etc., Whatever happens, your answers will come. So whether you're seeking guidance on making the next move, um, if you are waiting on news for a job, anything like that, the universe is saying, we've got you. Just take a breath. Your answers are coming. Okay, they are sending help. All right. And then finally, I um, asked what the outcome was. And honest to God, this is like the best card in this entire deck, milk and honey. Okay. Okay, it's so funny because it's a 51. I don't know if you can see there, it says 51 on it. 51 is six and six can be about nurturing as well. Okay, milk and honey, as we know, they're rainbows, there's abundance. Okay, so the outcome is a positive outcome, but you have to trust your intuition. You have to wait for your answers and you have to ensure that when you are making your decisions about where you are giving your energy, that they are decisions that are good decisions for you. Okay, it's not going to benefit you to stay in a job um, where you are being undervalued, underpaid, you're working long hours, um, if you have other options, okay, if you don't have other options, then just until you do find other options, please don't leave, because in this climate, it's not a good idea, okay, so guys, what a beautiful ending to your reading, the land of milk and honey, it's all coming to you, I have to say, just on a little personal note, um, that this reading feels a lot about decision making and the fear of making the wrong choice, okay, it's just intuitively what I'm picking up here, um, and what I'm hearing loud and clear is to have faith in yourself as well, okay? Um, the more you ground yourself, okay, the more you actually ground yourself and you connect in with earth energy and you do your meditations and things like that, um, you will start actually hearing what you need to hear and getting the guidance that you need to get. And obviously having faith is huge. I know it's not always easy. I know I've, I've had many tests of faith in the past, but this is very much about really trusting yourself, okay? And I think we had a reading last week, end of last week as well, about having faith in yourself, okay? So that's a big one for, for this. It really does feel like there's um, um, a level of mistrust about decisions that you need to make. Right, okay, and then our mantra for today. All right, there we go. I am enough. I stand in this truth and live my life accordingly. Okay, now that is a perfect mantra for today. It is telling you that you are enough. What you have is enough. You have the resources that you need to do to do what you want and to get to where you be. Just trust in yourself. All right. But very important, if there are fears around money, you need to ground yourself, guys. It's really, really hugely important. Okay, right. So I am enough. I stand in this truth and I live my life accordingly. All right. Um, the just so you know, every every chakra has a verb, and the base chakra is I am. Okay, it's the most present kind of claiming energy of all the chakras. All right. So if you're wanting to connect in with your seed sound with this, um, again it's lum. Okay, like L U M, but obviously it's pronounced it's spelled L A M. Okay, so lum. If you want to sit and chant that for a bit, it does connect in with the energy of your base chakra. Okay, my lovelies, have a beautiful, beautiful day. Mwah! Wishing you a fabulous Thursday. How disappointing. <laughs> but anyway, um, have a fabulous Thursday. And I look forward to connecting with you tomorrow. Um, but just have a beautiful day. And guys, go out there and kill it, man. You guys rock. You have confidence in yourself. Have faith in yourself. But make sure that when you're making decisions, you're making them from a heart space and that you are weighing up the balance of what you're giving and what you are receiving. Okay. Mwah. Sending you so much big loves today. Have a beautiful one, guys.